Truth is finally out. Prince Harry confesses James Hewitt is his true biological father, not King Charles. What if everything you thought you knew about the royal family turned out to be a lie? It's the kind of scandalous question that sends chills down the spine of every royal watcher. Well, brace yourself because the truth bomb Prince Harry just dropped has ignited shockwaves around the world. If you thought the crown was dramatic, this revelation makes it look like a casual tea party. Could James Hewitt really be Prince Harry's biological father? Let's unravel this royal enigma step by step. The whispered rumors that refuse to die. For decades, whispers about Prince Harry's parentage have swirled like London fog. He looks nothing like Charles, some claimed. Others pointed to Harry's striking resemblance to James Hewitt, the former cavalry officer who had an infamous affair with Princess Diana during her tumultuous marriage to King Charles. Was it just coincidence? Or was there more to the story? The British tabloids thrived on this tantalizing tale, often publishing side-by-side -side photos of Harry and Hewitt to stoke the fire. Yet, the palace dismissed the gossip as rubbish, stating the affair began long after Harry was born. But Harry's latest confession seems to flip that narrative on its head. The moment of truth. What did Prince Harry say? In an explosive interview that left Jaws on the floor, Prince Harry allegedly admitted that his relationship with King Charles was always strained for a reason he could never quite place. I grew up feeling like I didn't belong, Harry reportedly shared, his voice heavy with emotion. And then came the bombshell. As I've come to terms with my past, I've realized there's truth to what people have speculated. James Hewitt is my biological father. Wait, what? Did Harry just confirm decades of speculation? It appears so but the timing and context are just as intriguing as the revelation itself. Hashtag, hashtag, why now? The motivations behind the confession, asterisk, asterisk. You might be wondering, why now, Harry? What's changed? Let's rewind a bit. In recent years, Harry has become an outspoken advocate for mental health and self-discovery. His move to California with Meghan Markle was a clear break from royal traditions symbolizing his desire to live life on his own terms. In this new chapter, Harry seems committed to uncovering the truth, no matter how uncomfortable it might be. Is this confession part of his broader mission to heal from the trauma of his royal upbringing? Or is there a deeper, strategic reason, perhaps even tied to his ongoing tensions with the British monarchy? Whatever the motivation, Harry's courage in sharing this deeply personal revelation is impossible to ignore. Hashtag, hashtag the striking resemblance. Coincidence or confirmation? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Harry's appearance. With his fiery red hair and facial features that differ noticeably from those of his father, King Charles, comparisons to James Hewitt have always been hard to ignore. Even casual royal observers have pointed out how much Harry and Hewitt look alike in their younger years. Still, resemblance isn't everything, right? After all, genetics are a complex cocktail, and red hair does run in Diana's family. Could it simply be that Harry inherited Diana's side of the gene pool? Or is the striking similarity the missing puzzle piece we've all been waiting for? The speculation doesn't end there, but Harry's confession adds an intriguing new layer. How does this change the royal narrative? If James Hewitt is truly Harry's biological father, what does this mean for the monarchy? For one, it raises questions about Harry's royal titles. Technically, royal bloodlines dictate inheritance and titles. If Harry isn't King Charles's biological son, would he still be considered a legitimate member of the royal family? Could this affect his place in the line of succession, even though he's already stepped back from royal duties? More importantly, it reshapes the legacy of Princess Diana. Known for her vulnerability and authenticity, Diana's life was a rebellion against the rigid norms of royal life. 